Hi kids, how are you today? If we were meeting today, we would be talking about another part of spiritual inventory, or in other words, another part of what it means to have a pure heart. The character trait that I want to talk to you about today is called integrity. In other words, acting the same when no one is looking as you do when everyone is looking. Psalm 15 talks about this, so we know that it's important to God. Let's look at these verses a little bit more so we can learn a little more about what integrity really is. Here's a list. Oh, that's like an inventory of the things that God tells us are important. They all come from Psalm 15. So if you want to look that up later, you can. And here it is. Blameless lives. Do what is right. Speak the truth from a sincere heart. Refuse to gossip. Refuse to harm neighbors. Refuse to speak evil about friends. Hate sin. Honor faithful followers of the Lord. Keep promises even when it hurts. Lend money without charging interest. And can't be bribed to lie about the innocent. This seems like such a long list, but it really all comes down to doing what is right. The rest of the list describes what doing what is right means. These verses also say that those who act this way will stand firm forever. That's a big promise and God always keeps his promises. So let's bring this down to a list that we can remember easily. Number one, tell the truth. Number two, be kind to others. Treat them as you want to be treated. Number three, don't follow or copy someone you know is doing something wrong. Number four, try to be like those who faithfully follow the Lord. Number five, keep your promises. These are all things kids can do. These are all things that each of you can do at home every day. I wanted you to have a way to inventory your day for these things. In other words, for you to think about how you did during the day. So here it is. You'll need a jar and five craft sticks. I use kind of medium sized ones, but you can use the little ones or the great big giant ones, whatever works. You can decorate your jar however you want to decorate it. I obviously didn't decorate mine. And you can do that if that floats your boat too. So on the sticks, this is what I want you to write. One thing on each. If you need help with writing, ask a parent. On the first one, did I tell the truth today? Hmm. Was I kind to others today? Did I copy or follow someone who is doing wrong today? Did I try to be like someone who follows the Lord today? And did I keep my promises today? Put the sticks inside your jar, just like I did, and set the jar in a special place. Then every night, go to the jar and pull out the sticks and think to yourself, do a check-in with yourself. How did I do with each of these today? Be honest with yourself. If you need to ask God for forgiveness, do it. Pray and ask God to help you do better in the areas where you need help. Or thank him for helping you in the areas where you had success. If you need to make things right with someone else, do that too. This is a good way to practice integrity. See, that big word wasn't so hard after all. Love you guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.